Oh, hey guys, this is Joe from AmazingGameRoom.com. And if your air hockey puck has stopped floating on the table, things aren't moving well, don't worry. I've got three tips that you could try that are going to most likely get things moving again. Let's check them out. So the first thing that is likely happening if your puck is not moving is that the puck itself is actually damaged or has some abrasions on it somewhere that are are basically stopping friction on the table. Now, I have my small Playcraft sport here for demonstration purposes. However, I was playing in the arcade just last week and it was a full-size, beautiful Dynamo Firestorm table. Um, what, the, what the pros play on, basically. And the puck that was in the table when you put the money in was uh, scratched and damaged to, to high hell, basically. So even with the powerful blower of the uh, dynamo table, the puck <laughs> still was, was barely moving and it would often fly off just because there was so many uh, scratches and dents on it. So the very, very, very first thing you want to look at when your air hockey puck isn't moving is the puck itself. Odds are you may have to, you're probably going to have to replace your puck. If you go to AmazingGameRoom.com slash pucks or check out some of the links in the description below, um, I put together a little something on where you can choose the right pucks to for, for your table, basically. So first thing, go check that out. Now, the second thing that you should try if your puck isn't moving on the table is to make sure your table is nice and clean. There's no dust, no debris, nothing like that. So uh, what you should use is preferably some isopropyl alcohol on a soft cloth, but um, I didn't have any of that today. So I actually am using Windex, Windex with, without ammonia. You, should, you can use an ammonia-free, streak-free streak glass cleaner. And all you're going to want to do, very important though, don't skip this step, is before you start cleaning your table, you're going to want to turn your table on, okay? Now, what this does is it keeps the air blowing up through the holes, and what happens is not only will you uh, will reduce the chance of you getting extra debris in the holes, which will exacerbate your problem even more, but it'll help things uh, dry quicker um, when you're when you're wiping it down. So, you know, it really doesn't take much. Um, you want to be careful with putting too much on your table. So I just sprayed a little bit into this cloth, and now I'll just wipe it down, make sure, get everything nice and clean. You don't actually have to, so on, if you have a professional large table, you want to be careful about <coughs> cleaning the rails too much, because that can actually, a little bit of dust on the rails can actually help things bounce. but. You should be doing regular maintenance on the surface of your table, especially if you live in, um, or if your air hockey table lives in a room that, that can get quite dusty. So just make sure you've got all the dust and debris off. You can leave the blowers on for a few more minutes to make sure everything dries out. Um, you want to be very, very careful. I would advise against it using any sort of wax um, or silicone based things because what that could do is actually create streaks on your table, which are gonna stop the puck from gliding even more, and it can even gunk up some of the holes, which are gonna cause you a bigger problem. Okay, so that's step number two. Okay guys, so the third and final step for making the puck slide a bit better on your air hockey table is actually a, a two-fold step, and I want you to think of this as kind of like a, a last resort. Um, you can actually probably mess up your table if you do this wrong, so what I recommend is I'm going to leave um, a few resources in the description below. You can go read on how to, how to do this properly. But like I said, it's going to be a two-part two step. Now, the first and main step is actually cleaning the holes of the air hockey table itself. Now, the way you do this, and I'm not going to actually demonstrate this because I don't have a drill bit of that size, but I'll just use this... Um, it's actually an electronic screwdriver for demonstration. So what happens is, is that, like I mentioned before, dust and debris can actually get in the holes of the air hockey table itself. And so if you use a very, very, very small drill bit, it, it's probably gonna depend on the size of holes you have on your table. But as, as with 
with the other step, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, oh, I apologize about the camera shaking here, guys, is turn on the table. And once the table's on, you can actually use the rotating drill bit to put it in the hole and pull some of that dust and debris out. Now, you're likely not gonna have to do that unless your air hockey table's been really dusty and you've had it for a while. But, yeah, you wanna be careful with that. Make sure you don't damage any of the electrical components or, you know, hurt, <laughs> break your table or hurt yourself. Like I said, um, check out the link to the link in the description below. So the second part of that last tip, guys, is that if you're not gonna be playing all the time and you've got a decent sized air hockey table, consider investing in a cover. If you prevent dust from getting on it in the first place, you're not gonna worry about not gonna have to worry about cleaning out the uh, the inside of the table that often. Uh, hopefully, if at all, because it can be a very tedious process. Okay, guys, hope you guys enjoyed those tips, and I really hope they work for you. Please let me know in the comments section um, how it all works out. And don't forget, if you're thinking about getting a different puck and want to replace your puck, be sure to check out amazinggameroom.com slash pucks. And if you thought this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to Amazing Game Room for more help, tips, and everything table games. Have a good day.